What is going on guys, my name is Coaster Planet here, and today we have a very special announcement for a theme park, and they officially announced that they will be receiving a roller coaster in 2019, which is two years from now, so we're gonna find out how I found this out. Well somebody well I watched a YouTube video the other day and I found out that I saw this come up so we saw track on site everyone and it looks like B&M track has arrived but B&M have several types of coasters so we're gonna figure out what kind of coaster are would they possibly get in 2019 now this image is I found on Google so I just got this from the web so just to let you know anyways it does look like being m track it does look like it could be either uh, a being m wing coaster or possibly EBM dive coaster so we're gonna get to it and also we I saw a aerial view of the construction site so basically we seen vortex track some we seen some vortex track got um, removed well the ride is not gonna be removed but we saw some track being removed on some of vortex track so this is vortex helix so what's gonna happen is the reason why they probably the reason why they removed this is they're planning to put the coaster underneath vortex or possibly add a tunnel to the for the whatever coaster that they're getting but uh, I think the most po likely option is we could be seeing a BM dive coaster if it's gonna like have a tunnel through because I never seen any BM wing coaster go underground like like that so or through a tunnel I think it's only being them dive so but who knows we can be seeing a being wing go underneath the fir underneath the ground the first time so I don't know it'll be sweet it will have some inversions and it'll be tight so being them wing I don't think so but it would be nice though because the only wing coaster at a Cedar Fair Park is Gatekeeper, so and that was a very successful winged roller coaster, Gatekeeper, so but I don't think Canada Wonderland would want to get a BM wing coaster. But I really, really, really believe that they'll be getting oops, what am I doing? They'll be getting a B&M wing coaster, I mean a B&M dive coaster in 2019. So that's the reason why they're prepping construction because so they can get it open just in time in 2019, possibly spring of 2019 or the summer of 2019. Nothing has officially been announced. So these are just stuff that I'm possibly guessing so but we'll find out more so till then the coaster all I know is a BM dive coaster and will open in 2019 that's uh, how far as we have no right now when the coaster is going to open and possibly 
that's gonna be the final coaster that they will be receiving and forgot to tell you guys is the color scheme of the coaster is actually going to be the same color as Vortex their suspended coaster so it's kind of weird that they have the same color scheme I'm not sure if that's the final or they could be tricking us but who knows they could be changing up the color scheme or they'll be doing that or vortex might receive a different color scheme so who knows remember nothing hasn't been officially announced yet so that's just all my guess and also we have a location where I think it will be it looks like it will be going to this area right here where Skyrider used to be as you can see in the construction yeah it does look like where Skyrider used to be their Togo stand up coaster so I marked in blue where the coaster could be so my guess it will go through the lift hill going towards going right over there by the water park it was kind of kind of turn a little bit and then it's going to go straight down go into a tunnel through vortex and then it will kind of do some maneuvers in the other area of that land and then it's gonna try to make a comeback to that other area where it's the current coaster is and then it's gonna um, probably do some helix a bank overturn and I think um, the brakes and then the station so correct me if I'm wrong the they might build a new station for the coaster or if the coaster if the station of Skyrider is still there but I'm sure they're gonna build a new station so just letting you know if Skyrider station used to be there cuz I forget anyways that's the coaster so Hopefully it's gonna be a nice B&M dive coaster. Do is a B&M dive coaster a good fit for Canada's Wonderland? I think a B&M wing coaster would most likely fit here at Canada's Wonderland, but I think a B&M dive coaster is still okay. I mean, this is the second B&M dive coaster to go to a Cedar Fair Park. The first one was Valraven at Cedar Point. This will be the second one. Although these are huge crowd pleasers, but I would still say a BM wing coaster would most likely be a good option. However, this is still good. But the better one the better option is a BM launched wing coaster just like Thunderboard Thunderbird at at holiday world but like I said BM dive coaster will still be a good fit for Canada's Wonderland they do have two awesome BM coasters a BM hyper a BM giga now a BM dive coaster now I'm not sure what the name is but there are rumors that this coaster could possibly be called Ziz so I don't know but we'll just wait till they announce this coaster and we'll find out the name and everything else and that's it for the 2019 coaster at Canada's Wonderland hope you enjoyed this comment subscribe give this video a thumbs up do me a favor please click that subscribe button and Stay tuned for more, and I'll catch you guys next time.